Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Good noon. Uh, I'm very pleased uh, to be here to communicate with all of you. Uh, first of all, uh, allow me to uh, thank the organization of this conference uh, and uh, the electric uh, authority of Ferry Iceland, especially Mr. Jogwen Thompson um, for, for your kind invitation to attend the conference. Um, my topic today is uh, analysis of the isolated wind pumped storage system. Um, before uh, my presentation, uh, I'd like to give a short, a brief introduction to the wind power in China. Uh, a variable wind power source uh, in China at uh, um, present uh, technology stage um, has um, located, located uh, uh, at the north and the west of China and the sea coast here. Um, uh, and the plan for construction of the wind farm, uh, there are seven large scale wind farms will be um, constructed uh, at the near future. Mm, the characteristic um, for um, of China to uh, exploring uh, wind energy is, uh, is large scale development and uh, integrated to the grid central, uh, centralized. And uh, there are four large uh, pumped storage systems in China, uh, but all of them uh, connected to the grid, not uh, powered by wind farm. Okay, the uh, total together uh, variable installed capacity now is about uh, 5.7, 100 million kilowatts in China. Okay, um, my presentation today is uh, uh, began with uh, uh, how isolated uh, wind power pumped storage system, uh, why we need, need such a system, and uh, analyze, analyze the pumps and the pipe, the characteristic, we can know how to realize in this system. And uh, next, uh, we'll introduce the, uh, the structure design of the pump system for the fractal Adding wind energy. Uh, the last, uh, we were discussing it and the uh, maximum conclusion. Uh, as is well known, the sufficient power regulating capacity is needed for a grid when the uh, fluctuating energy to be integrated in it. Uh, if the system capacity is um, being limited, uh, an effective way is uh, to employ wind energy, uh, is to tra transform the wind energy into the conventional um, wind hydroelectric power and through, through pump storage system. So uh, the, the, the arm, arm of the, our research is to transfer the, how to transfer the variable wind energy, variable wind energy into the conventional hydroelectric power. And in this system, there are three challenges exist. One is the stability of uh, a standalone system consists of wind 
energy and uh, wind pumps. And two is a proper allocation among wind turbine, uh, water pump, uh, reservoir, and uh, hydroelectric generator. And uh, its efficiency and economy of the system. And another challenge is the control and the dispatch of the wind driven pumped storage hydropower plants when connected to the grid. Uh, my presentation today is uh, only related to the related to the first question. Um, First of all, if we want to organize such a system, we need to to know more about the pumps and the the, the, the pipes. Um, you know, uh, in such a system, we need high lift head and a large water um, flow. And the, the the pumps have uh, many types. Uh, pump, we, we think the central figure pump is more suitable for such a system because it has a large flow, high lift, and they have a good starting um, performance. And determine the water flow of pumps is uh, the second uh, thing we, we need to do. The water consumption of uh, hydro turbine and uh, the uh, wind level of the reservoir and should be consulted when we determine the, the pump's flow. It should be matched uh, together. And why we can we can organize such a system is uh, because the pump are uh, not of arrival torque. We can use this characteristic and to match the fluctuation of wind energy. So uh, let's see the characteristic of pumps. Uh, this is uh, two different um, characteristic of pumps. Uh, the characteristic of pumps is related to uh, the resistance of water, uh, the diameter of the pipe, uh, and, uh, and uh, its material and about the, the, the pipe. And so from this, it, it, it can express as this uh, equation. Uh, from here, we, we, we can see the, the float, uh, the, slope, the slope of the curve depends on the material resistance coefficient, K, and the, the diameter of the pipe and the flow this is um, through, through volume, and the through speed also connected to it. We, we will see the flow uh, is uh, pro proportional to the, the head. Uh, and uh, if there are different types, and uh, the uh, the, the, the flat, the flat pipe, the flat curve. Um, well, when you have a change in the um, frequent in the flow, uh, it will result in a small change uh, on the high. Uh, but if the characteristic is uh, more steeper, and then the the change on frequency uh, on flow will be result in large change in head. And so, uh, for for our pump uh, stand along pump storage system, uh, we need to keep the head in a certain uh, area. So uh, we we need the pipe characteristic more flatly. Let's, let's see the characteristic of pumps. Um, for a pump, 
at a certain rota rotational speed, uh, there are three functions. Uh, one is about uh, it is a uh, uh, flu and it has uh, it's inversely uh, inverse uh, proportional to each other, and uh, at uh, this. This curve uh, has a cross point with this curve. This is the pipe, cur pipe curve. So this create point is the operational point of the pump system. At this point, we have a relatively re a relevant uh, um, efficiency curve. And this is a high efficiency at here. And um, we also have uh, the actually the, sh the shift power of the pump, the curve, this one. If the, when the um, speed is changed from the N0 to N1, and all of these uh, curves were were changed. And in the curve, we have the such uh, functions: uh, the the flu. Uh, if the function of of uh, n uh, for the rotating sp speed, and uh, h is the square relation to the square of the speed and the power p is uh, the curve of the uh, speed. And so from this um, this figure we, we can see if the speed change uh, the cross point will also change so the operation point will change here and the, the high will, the, the head will be decrease. So uh, one way to to control the pump to meet the fluctuation of the wind power, uh, we need to ensure the head lift varies within a limited range, and the speed regulation uh, range should also be limited. Uh, how to uh, determine uh, this range, uh, you can see, uh, relative to different speeds, there are there are a relative high efficiency point. Uh, if we connected this efficiency point together, we can get a curve of a high efficiency operational efficiency uh, curve. So we can through this curve to choose uh, the re the uh, corresponding a high efficiency point to as uh, uh, a range of the uh, control. And another to ensure to ensure the pump has a higher efficiency, the speed regulation range and uh, usually varying within twenty percentage. Uh, this is. Uh, well, maybe. 